my name is Kelly Vess, and today we're going to talk about how to teach phonemic awareness skills using Google Slides by adding audio to our Google Slides. What's really neat about this is it gives us the opportunity to provide auditory, visual, and print in improving phonemic awareness skills. And this is extremely important because we know that many of the children we work with have language comprehension and auditory processing issues. So if we want to improve their phonemic awareness school, skills, we're going to want to use a multimodal approach that get, provides them with visual, that provides them with a kinesthetic tactile, and also provides them with print. So the very important skill that we're gonna look at today is known as blending. And blending is when you take sounds and you combine the sounds to create words. An example of a blending activity would be, be myself saying the word cat. I'm gonna say sounds and put them together to make a word. You tell me what sounds I'm creating. This time I'm gonna give you the auditory only. And I want you to think about how challenging this task would be if you have auditory processing issues or language comprehension issues. Okay, listen, I'm gonna say some sounds and I want, you to li I want you to take these sounds and put them together to create a word. Are you ready? Ka. Eh, t. If you put those sounds together, what word would you create? So you can see how challenging that task is. But at the same time, it's a very important task because that's how many children learn how to read. They sound out each word individually and combine the sounds to create words. So what the research has shown to us, this is such an important task that it's highly predictive at the preschool level of which children are going to struggle to read at elementary age. So this test it's known as the CTOP2 there's research out of Australia, the UK, and out of North America that found that the subtest known as blending, blending words or blending sounds to create words is highly predictive of which children, the children that do poorly on the subtest is highly predictive of which children will struggle with reading at elementary age. So we want to take this skill and teach this skill at the preschool level, but in doing so, we want to add the materials we have from our toolbox, which is the visual, which is the multimodal using the kinesthetic tactile movement and also the print. That's because we're not here to test children, we're here to teach them. So let me show you how we can add the auditory to our Google Slides so we can give our children everything in improving their phonemic awareness skills. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just share my screen and I'm gonna show you what I'm working on right now for when we return after break for the new year, my slideshow. So this is a phonemic awareness blending activity. So as you can see, I want them to take those sounds, jir, ah, put the sounds together to create a word. Now, the only thing we're missing, we have our print, we have our auditory, we even have our multimodal cue of a Jeep driving over the sounds. The only thing we're missing is the auditory. So let's add the auditory to the slide. And I'm going to go to my favorite means to do so, which is onlinevoicerecorder.com. It's just such an easy, easy way to add auditory to any of your slides. So let's add the auditory to the slide. I'm gonna record it right now, and I'm just gonna press on my microphone, and I'm going to say, all right, we're gonna drive the Jeep over the sounds and find out which word it makes when we put the sounds together. Okay, get your Jeep ready. All right, here it goes. Jr, ah, p. What word does that make when we put the sounds together? Okay, let's drive the Jeep faster now. Get your Jeep ready. Drop. Which sound did you hear? Which word did you hear when we put the sounds together? I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna save that as the word drop. So I can easily upload it into my slide at a later time. All right, I'm just gonna show you a couple more just for an example. I'm gonna get a fresh mic by pressing refresh. Okay, and let's turn that mic on. 
okay, let's drive our Jeep over the sounds and put the sounds together to see what word they make. Get your Jeeps ready. Jer, ool, ool. What word did that make? Okay, let's try it again. Let's go faster this time. What word did you hear? I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna save that as drool. So I know that I'm giving you a lot of examples here, but that's just so it's very easy for you to do. This is a really neat, this is something that I think is a positive that's coming out of technology in that where we have readily available props to help children that have poor auditory comprehension. We can help them learn the same skills that they're typically developing peers do, but we can capitalize on their visual skills. So we saved Jewel. Let's go ahead and refresh the mic. I'm gonna press that refresh, okay? And here it goes again. Okay, let's drive the Jeep over the sounds and put the sounds together to make a word. Are you ready? Get your Jeep ready. Jer, a, n. What word did that make? All right, let's drive the Jeep faster. Drain. What word did we make? Let me stop it. Let's save that as drain. We have one more. I just think sometimes I know I'm I'm I know I'm giving you practice, but it's nice to have something automatic and then never have to go back to it again. So let's do it one more time. I'm gonna refresh my mic. Let's turn the mic on. Last one. Oops, I'm Kelly. Let's refresh it again. I made a mistake that time. I accidentally stopped it early. Okay, let's go. All right, let's drive our Jeep over some sounds and put the sounds together to see what word it makes. Ready? Get your Jeeps ready. Jer, ink. What word did that make? Let's do it again faster. Jer, ink. What word did that make? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and save that as drink. Okay. Now we're gonna go and upload these into our Google Drive. Oh, did I already do drink? Well, I did. That's okay. Mistakes happen. Good enough. Okay, let me go to my Google Drive and I'm gonna press the plus sign so I can upload these files. File, upload. And then I'm just gonna press shift because I want drink, I want drain, and I want drool, and I want drop. Okay, those are my four sounds. I'm gonna press open. Oh, good, I am sharing my screen. Okay, good. And then we're going to, good, we're gonna update existing. I already had a drink. Now it's going slowly right now, but that's only because I'm I'm recording this. Usually this is really super, super fast. Update existing. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to my slideshow and we're gonna add the auditory. So I'm gonna just delete this one. This is from the past. So we're gonna go insert audio. And the first word is drop. So on top, I'll just go ahead and grab drop. And I'll say salat. And there it is. So I'm gonna just, why don't I make it a little bigger just so people can see it right next to the Jeep. Now let's go ahead and insert audio. See how easy this is? And then the next word was drain. I'm gonna select that. And then I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So it's right next to my Jeep, okay. And then we're gonna go insert, audio. And the next word was, drew, drew, oh, I had drool, I messed, I messed up my, my words, sorry about that. The drain, I, got, I need to move drain down there. That was, and then I'll move drool up here. Whoops, mistakes happen and then you fix them. It's all good. All right, now let's see how this game that we just created works. We have one more. Let's just get it done. Just nice for practice. Insert audio. We have the word drink. I'm gonna just select that. Awesome. Okay, so now our game is finished. 
And I feel good about this. I don't know if I could provide this with, I think it's really, nothing beats virtual. We'll fix that later. But nothing beats virtual. But this really does provide a nice um, augmentative communication exercise to send home to parents. So I'm going to go to view, present to support the learning that we're doing at school, especially if I can add a little visual uh, recording of me showing the multimodal cueing as well. So let's press on this. Here it goes. Okay. All right, we're gonna drive the Jeep over the sounds and find out which word it makes when we put the sounds together. Okay, get your Jeep ready. All right, here it goes. J, A, P. What word does that make when we put the sounds together? Okay, let's drive the Jeep faster now. Get your Jeep ready. J, A, P. Which sound did you hear? Which word did you hear when we put the sounds together? Now I'm gonna press on it. It's gonna go over, drop. They're gonna select the word that they think it is. Maybe they thought it was drop here. It's gonna turn around. And then we're gonna do that with the other four. But you see how, what, you, what we're gonna do when we do, when COVID is over, it's gonna be so wonderful. We're gonna be in person. We're going to be doing all of the great stuff. We're gonna be using movement. But we're also, what, what I see with Google Slides and how we're going to change what we do is that we can send home to parents not only the cues that we're using, but also great visuals, also great print to help these children with language comprehension issues improve their phonemic awareness skills. Because we know two things. We know that the children in preschool that will likely struggle with reading at elementary age, either A, have a familial history of dyslexia or reading impairments, or B, they have language comprehension issues. So we can really help these children by giving them the visual to improve their phonemic awareness skills. Well, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.